ditch. That's where I'm supposed to be going. But as you can probably hear, the wind is quite a bit worse. Might have to backtrack to find a safer spot. Because in the middle of the night tonight, it's supposed to get worse. I'll go a little bit further and then uh, reassess. turn back and backtrack there's no way I'm gonna find a better spot down there that's where I'm supposed to be going but it looks like the wind may be coming up that valley so it would be silly to walk further down than have to walk almost a mile back up this side of the mountain so I'm gonna backtrack At least the wind's to my back now. I have to backtrack probably about a half a mile. And then um, I'm gonna go to plan B, uh, which is another smaller tarn next to sprinkling tarn that I haven't camped at. Um, yeah, the visibility's so poor anyway. No point in going to a completely uh, new area. I'm not gonna get to enjoy it. <laughs> so. The goal now is just to find, and like that, the wind's nearly gone once you come over this ridge. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, I think the goal now, uh, given how strong the wind is actually on that side, uh, it is supposed to stay south and then switch to southeast. Uh, it's coming from the southeast overnight, um, so it should be staying about the same. So. As long as I find a spot that's safe uh, right now with less wind, um, I should be good for the night. And I think that's <laughs> that's going to be the goal now because I'm not going to get to really enjoy uh, any views, as you can see anyway. Maybe a few sheep, <laughs> but that's about it today. Uh, the visibility is just too poor up here. Um, and yeah, the gusts are, are quite strong. So, all right, I'll get back with you when... Uh, I'm closer to, uh, yeah, plan B. Whew. Wind is much better here. Sorry about the camera wind having a really hard time keeping it dry. So I'm actually not going to camp here. Oh God, it is boggy. Um, this is sprinkling tarn. I've camped here before. I'm not interested in doing the same thing, um, but there's another smaller tarn actually just over uh, there, which is where we're headed. So yeah, the wind's still coming in from the south. So once we get over this ledge here to the second tarn, there should be some cover. <laughs> At least that's the hope. So we'll see. Love this spot though.
escape the winds wherever I go, but this is a bit better. What am I kidding? It's a lot better. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to kind of walk around, uh, kind of see where I can pitch. It's not too wet and not too windy. Things got a little worse. Um, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's coming down really hard. I don't think I've actually ever been this soaked on a camp in my life. <laughs> my waterproof pants completely soaked through. Um, my shoes, which have never failed me, are completely soaked through. I actually already went and got water because I just needed to get in and get these wet clothes off as soon as possible. Luckily. I have wool on, so I'm warm, uh, even though it's, it's wet. But uh, yeah. Oh man, the inside of the tent's wet. <laughs> oh my. So yeah, it's kind of a bit crazy out there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, let me get all this wet stuff off, try to dry things up a little bit in here, and then um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. Uh, as soon as I'm a, <laughs> a bit more comfortable. Oh, all right, I got dry shirt and a puffy on. I uh, had a pair of spare kind of like long johns. Uh, I checked my bag twice. I don't know what I did with them. I don't know if I pulled them out at the last second. Um, yeah, but they're not in there, so um, my pants are wet, um, so I'm just kind of sitting on a sit pad, um, and I'm just kind of going to hope they 
dry out through the night. I can, you know, take them off at night to get in the sleeping bag, but um, I do want to keep them on right now uh, just to try to dry them out. Yeah. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, <laughs> didn't get to si say hi really too much earlier. <laughs> there was a quick change in plans, as you probably saw on the hike. Uh, the area that I was originally going to camp um, is just was a bit too exposed and windy, so I uh, came to plan B. Um, and everything was good until the very end when uh, the rain hit. Uh, and the rain in combination with the wind just completely soaked me through, um, even through my shoes, which never have uh, soaked through before. So kind of crazy. But um, yeah, so we're here now, uh, back in the Lake District for a overnight camp. Um, the weather is supposed to get a little crazy tonight. Um, Mostly rain, uh, I think 20, 25 mile per hour steady winds uh, with gusts around 50 uh, to 55 past midnight. Um, but I am in the solo, so I'm totally comfortable with it. Uh, and I feel like I picked a pretty decent spot that's kind of out of the, the major winds, so I should be fine. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to uh, get a drink, try to settle in a little bit more, and then I'll get back to you guys soon. So, I am uh, strained up a little bit. Um, there's so much wet gear in the uh, tent. It's definitely going to get a little steamy in here. It already is. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It fogged up just a second ago and I had to wipe it down. All right, so tonight, for dinner, since it's wet, rainy, and nasty out, um, I figured uh, a nice ramen would uh, do. So, that's what we're gonna be doing tonight.
All right, that's it, all done. So this is my ramen. Um, I'm pretty happy with this recipe, actually. I've been trying to perfect it over the last couple years, but um, I think I finally, I finally got it. Um, yeah. So um, a nice warm meal to uh, have when it's wet, cold, and uh, <laughs> yeah, windy. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. The beer for tonight is a Heathen Hazy IPA uh, by Northern Monk, 7.2%. So that'll go down nicely. Oh yeah, really good. Chicken ramen. Perfect meal. Sorry, talking with my mouth full. Um, perfect meal for a night like this where it's windy, cold, wet. Just warms you from the inside. Um, speaking of warm, I'm very warm. Um, my pants though are still a little bit wet. They are drying actually quite a bit. Um, but yeah, they are still a bit wet. So hopefully before bed they'll be drier. Um, if not, no big deal. I have my uh, winter sleeping bag with me. So, um, yeah, I'll be warm enough in any case. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat this, and then I will um, get back with you guys in just a bit. If you haven't tried turmeric tea before, I highly recommend it, um, especially in the autumn, uh, winter time. It's just, I don't know, it's really good. I like it, um, and it's nice to have in the evenings instead of uh, something like chamomile because this actually has some spices and flavor to it, but uh, no caffeine, so it won't keep you up. It's so nice to be back in the solo. Um, doesn't have as big of a vestibule, but there's so much more headroom, um, and you know, with it being a dome tent, it is definitely much more sturdy when you get these big gusts that are coming through, and they are actually coming from the opposite direction. So the winds are supposed to get really crazy from the south southeast, which is over here, um, like 50 plus mile per hour gusts uh, later tonight, but the winds that I'm actually getting are from here. I have this nice, I don't know if you saw when I was coming in, but the tarn is actually directly behind you guys, and I'm probably, I don't know, 10 feet from it. Uh, but there's a nice big kind of barrier surrounding it, but there is kind of an opening gap uh, down into the valley, which goes back toward Seathwaite. Uh, directly behind me over here and uh, the wind is actually going down that valley and kind of hitting it and swooping around and hitting me from this side. The good thing is um, I probably won't see uh, that, that you know 50 mile per hour gusts or anything like that and even the normal wind speed that's supposed to be like 20-25 miles per hour steady I'm not getting that at all which is awesome. So when I do get some of those gusts I'm actually I'm assuming I'm gonna get them from this direction uh, but I doubt they'll be anywhere near that 50 mile per hour. Uh, so, yeah, should be pretty good tonight. Um, and I'm in the solo, so I'm not too worried. But, uh, yeah, definitely probably the wettest camp I've experienced in, I don't know, quite some time. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever had uh, my waterproofs and my shoes in particular fail me. Um, granted... I was walking down the path, um, or walking up the footpath for about what ended up being, it would have been uh, 6K going to 
uh, angle tarn. I had to backtrack. I was about a half mile um, from that tarn, and I backtracked probably a mile or a half mile, and then came this way another half mile. So, um, yeah, I mean, they did pretty well, but towards that end, I don't know what it was, but that wind slash rainstorm that hit me as soon as I was setting up the tent uh, it just completely drenched everything. It went through the pack cover. It went through uh, my my coat. It went through not only the waterproof pants, but also uh, these pants, which are uh, waxed. Um, so yeah, it just got completely drenched. So I'm really glad I had extra stuff, you know, aside from the the, the long johns, which would have been really nice. But these are almost dry. Uh, they do dry really quickly. Um, but in anticipation of crazy wet weather, I did wear wool. Wool is just some magic material. Even when wet, it'll keep you, it'll keep you uh, warm. Um, so yeah. All right, I am rambling a ton, so I'm gonna enjoy my tea now. Um, yeah, go ahead and set up the bed system, and I'll probably get back to you guys and uh, say good night. Cheers. Got the bed set up. I think I'm gonna go to sleep. It is uh, it's actually a little later than I wanted to go to bed. It's 9:20. So yeah, I'm gonna get to sleep. Uh, like I said, after midnight, the wind's supposed to get pretty bad. So I just want to make sure I can get a few half decent hours before uh, possibly having to wake up and go fix everything. Um, but I think I'm gonna be okay in this spot. Uh, the gusts are. Like the ones I'm, I've been getting are pretty strong, but uh, they're so infrequent. Um, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Uh, and the rain, again, is off and on still, but uh, it's kind of nice to fall asleep to the rain. So, yeah, definitely the wettest camp I've done possibly ever, considering everything got soaked. Um, even, you know, through the pack liner and everything, but... Uh, how it is sometimes, but uh, I'm cozy, comfortable. I'm actually gonna use my sleeping bag as more of a quilt, uh, since I am a little damp, just to not put uh, pressure on the uh, down, um, in case it does get a little wet, but uh, my pants should dry out uh, by, by the morning, so. I do have earplugs somewhere. I'm gonna find those. <laughs> uh, probably need them tonight, but um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the trip so far, and I'll catch you in the morning. Good night. Can't sleep. This is so loud, and I have ear closed soon. not having good night's sleeps these uh these past few camps I actually slept really well the past two hours incredibly well actually the winds died down the rains finally uh kind of died down so 
and I do remember the forecast has been pretty accurate uh, thus far. It is supposed to be fairly calm up until around uh, sunrise. It's like 7.30. It's 6.30 right now. So I'm going to try to get up, uh, make a coffee real quick, pack up. I absolutely dread putting on wet shoes. I really wish I would have brought uh, two plastic bags or something for my feet so I could put my dry socks Put them over my dry socks and then that in the boot but i'm debating actually just putting on my wet socks and then so i can put these uh, dry ones on when i get back to the car uh but yeah we'll worry about that after coffee yeah so let's do that got a quite a bit colder last night sitting out here so to do the old trick where you take the match and just kind of slowly place it in and use it as a wick like that Best part of the morning. Oh man. Yeah. So as you can hear, again I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> the the rain is just a drizzle, which is fine. I should be even these pants would be fine in that. Uh, and the winds have died down, so if I could get everything packed away uh, in the tent in those conditions, that would be incredible. Um, peek outside here. There you can see. Gloomy morning, but, um, yeah. Hopefully things remain relatively calm for the next, I don't know, 30 minutes, however long it takes me to get out of here <laughs> so all right I'm gonna enjoy this pack up and uh, yeah I'll probably see you when I'm outside the tent really like this spot. I'll have to come back when it's not crazy and I can actually enjoy it. Maybe in the summer. Or if it snows. That might be pretty nice. Alright, let's get stuff packed down. Let's get out of here.
much wind at a rock on top of the peg and just the, the movement nearly sanded it down. That's crazy. Normally my pack's uh, lighter on the hike back, but given how wet everything is, I don't think that's gonna be the case today. Trace as always. Stunning place. All right, guys. Um, I think that's going to do it for this video. As you can see, it's starting to rain, um, and the wind's picking up quite a bit again. Uh, this felt like a pretty spot to kind of end it. But um, yeah, I have about two miles to get back to the car, uh, so I'm just going to get my head down and get back. Um, uh, yeah, it was definitely a wet one. Could barely keep the camera dry. I don't think I've ever been that soaked too before getting in the tent, but uh, we made it, fun night. Uh, I was glad I brought the solo. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll catch you on the next one. Please like, share, get outside. Later. <laughs>